hello friends how are you so today's topic is like uh, how to debug node.js application both uh, locally as well as remotely so locally means like i'll be using my vs code editor and my application uh, in my computer and i'll just app- run this application and i'll debug it so that's of course i'm calling it as a local de- uh, locally I'll, I'll debug and also i'll try uh, debugging the same application which uh, i have deployed to cloud sap cloud trial account where i have deployed it uh, and that application uh, i'll be also debugging and that that time i'll be using a remote uh, debugging approach and i'll be using vs code editor and as well i can use i'll show to you uh, how to use the chrome development tool uh, to debug this uh, application remotely so let's start uh, so just to call out one thing like recently i published a, a video uh, where i the same application i have built it up from scratch kind of and uh, uh, in case you have not uh, seen this video yet, you can take a look uh, because the URL I have given in the description box. I hope you will also like that video too. Okay, so before debugging, let's see how this application works, right? So to run node index, it's listening on port 3000. So let's go to 3000. Uh, let's just remove, put it 3000, enter. So this is the application interface. So if I click SAP and let's say email and I click on submit, I'm expecting that email address from SAP as a supplier will be retrieved uh, uh, from ES5 gateway demo system as offered by SAP. So click on submit. And yes, the application is working, right? So now how to test this application locally? That is my first uh, thing that I'll try. So to do that, let's stop it first and go to your this run control shift D and you see something called create lo- uh, uh, launch.js and some configurations you have to do. Click on this, select node.js and by default, this you know a template will be selected. We call it launch program. Okay, so then what I can do is I can uh, play this one, right? But before that, uh, I will just do one thing. I'll just execute now this node index instead of index directly. I'll write inspect index. Okay. And let's see what it says. It says this debugger listening. And now click on this debugger. Uh, So now what I'll do, I'll go to my index.js once and in the post call let's see here i'm putting a breakpoint okay now i will put sap and email again and see like if the control stops over here yes the i can see like the post call it's the the cursor is here and my supplier is sap and field name is email so now i can use those a few buttons to you know uh, uh, keep my uh, debugging continued I hope this is uh, uh, this is clear to you, and I'm call, calling it as a I'm debugging it in locally because both the applications uh, and I uh, know uh, the VS Code editor is all in my computer, and I'm just debugging debugging this application, right? Okay, so I can click execute, and I see on the debug console I have the data. Okay, so this is my email ID, which I can also see over here. So this local debugging. I think pretty simple and straightforward now I told like I'll also demonstrate let's stop this one first I'll also demonstrate how to debug remotely means my application I have deployed to cloud in my last video because I had to integrate my SAP chatbot right and Alexa echo dot also so uh, that application is working in cloud and uh, how to debug it remotely okay so for that I have created one step-by-step guide and uh, hopefully if you just follow these uh, steps uh, in one shot you will be able to uh, you know set up your debugging environment okay so let's try first step i have to copy this one and change my package.json going to my package.json file i have to put it over here under this debug script right okay saving it don't forget to save the changes of course next step let's go uh, 
next step let's okay let's control it okay i'm just stopping that also so next step was i have to i'm just running this command line this one you can also do it during uh, uh you know code push let's see a push minus c and you can put that uh, command also but i'm doing it statically for this demo purpose so i'll go here manifest.yml and i'll just click something here put a tab paste done so i'm telling during npm run you just call inspect what is this inspect this inspect means it will call node.js in inspect mode right my application index it will run in inspect mode what next next step is i have to now push this along with this build pack url so i'll go i'll just paste it and i'll execute i think i have done something wrong okay sorry we try once more oh, some copy paste issue let's do it again copying properly and let's see yeah now run it and it will uh, push the code changes whatever we have done to cloud right just little patience you need uh, and I'm not closing this video right because just to show like what's happening it's downloading for the build artifacts and hope it will start without any issues uploading fine and then I hope it will start successfully destroy the container for instance fantastic let's wait for it to start waiting for application to start okay awesome so now it is uh, the start command with this npm runs inspect which recently we have just made a changes with that it started so let's see go to our cloud and this is the application what we have i have already uploaded it it's in started right okay so what next next is uh, the step we should follow we have to enable uh, do an SSH enabling because we have to create a tunnel from my local system okay so that I can remotely debug this application which is actually hosted on cloud now uh, I might have already enabled it before so uh, let's just see that whether it's working or not let's enable it and see what happened it is telling uh, SSH support is already enabled because I did it before. What happens? This application is actually residing under a container, and that container is under a space, and that space is under a organization, right? So that way, it's all constructed, right? So this uh, trial, this dev and container and ES5 application is uh, hosted on the cloud. So um, what happens for the space that ssh is already enabled you don't need to do anything but for the application it will not so in my case it is showing enabled because i did it before so let's disable first so that i can demonstrate what you have to do disable this step is not needed okay i'm just doing it explicitly because i want to re-enable uh, yes uh, something problem uh, and I'm sorry uh, disable yes 5 and it will disable it now disabling I did some mistake before uh, and what I did okay I made a wrong uh, okay the spelling error okay so now disable done so I can now uh, re-enable right that means enable SSH and then es5 right so it is enabling and it's okay so now i can do uh, cf ssh es5 what happens sometimes it fails sometimes for me it will not fail i hope and i'll tell why it is not yeah it is not failing 
why because because i already did this enabling before no need to worry for you if you doing it the first time it will definitely fail and for that there is a missing link and missing link is you have to restart the application i have already mentioned it if it's failing right you have to restart this application with this command cf restart i am not doing it because for me it is already working it's uh, ssh is working so i'm on the cloud now so let's exit from the cloud and come back to your original folder all right for the next step next step is we have to do a port forwarding because uh, when we restarted this application uh, i mean uh, deploy to application starting it's basically by default listening on to uh, uh, you know port 9229 so that port i'll be telling like in my local uh, computer the same port i'll be forwarding to so that they, it can i can just debug it uh, from uh, my uh, computer vs code editor right so for doing that what i'll do i'll just copy this one and i'll just do a, rep a port forwarding this is my local port and i'm forwarding on this host and port for this application right so let's do this once enter and this uh, in run, uh, listening mode so now what i have to do i have to create uh, the last step and that is i'll be creating a new application cmd and i'm creating let's say first going to my desktop then uh, going to my node folder which i have already created i'm creating a new folder let's say debugger and going to this folder and i'm opening the same in my vs code let's open it okay so now close this one uh, i told i'll building up new application of course not i'll just uh, creating this uh, uh, folder because i have to add one configuration debug configuration so just click launchpad as like you did for the local right similar way but this time you need to copy and paste from this uh, step or guide i'm copying with comma and i put it back into this one i'm calling it is an uh, this is my local port this is my local root and this is the remote root where my application is working and i'm just telling this port you need to add us to the debugger okay so from cloud foundry i'll be debugging remotely now okay what next you have to do you just from this drop down you have to select attach to sap cloud foundry and click on play now you go here and you need to run this application okay so uh, you click on this application and you see the enter code is now showing in your editor and this is a new editor which i opened right it doesn't have anything you see only the configuration launch.json right other than that it doesn't have anything so here i have just opened the application in my right you can see from cloud so i'll just put a breakpoint over here and i'll run sap email so now this application i'm just calling from this cloud right this is hosted in cloud so i'm just click on this url and this interface it started uh, opening and i'll just click on submit button you see it hit the uh, code editor awesome right and I see supplier is SAP and M field. So now I can pretty well do a debugging remotely. I am just doing it remotely, correct? Executing it, and you see the data shown over here as well in my debug console, right? Cool. Now one more thing. Uh, I integrated this Node.js in my SAP chatbot. So from SAP chatbot also, I should expect that it should, uh, you know, I'll be able to debug. So let's go click on this chatbot. Tell me email address for SAP. So if I click on enter, similar way it is hitting this Node.js. So it again stuck in my post call and I can pretty well same way I can debug, right? execute and here the output is appearing so from chatbot also i'm able to debug it remotely awesome right okay now one more tool i told like i'll be using chrome developer tool so for that you have to open this one and 
let's stop this one at the other first and uh, I'll just click on here you write Chrome right inspect if we just open uh, some problem sorry Chrome I'm doing a mistake again no okay about yes so chrome uh, colon double slash inspect I was doing something wrong but here you can see the syntax is all, all automatically you know connecting it so you can just click on an open dedicated tool so your application is loaded you see the same code is now opened on our chrome developer right so let's test it let's go to go back from this cloud tool click on SAP email click submit you see it hit the chrome awesome right and just like a browser uh, debugging with JavaScript you can debug using this chrome okay executing it and it will give the data back similar way nothing to nothing new you can do it from here as well tell me email for SAP enter and I hope it will again hit execute done okay so now you uh, you have seen like how we can easily debug locally as well remotely so remote debugging is little bit tricky and certain things you have to do but I have tried to mention in my step-by-step -step guide so that you can you know follow this um, blindly kind of and hopefully things will uh, uh, will be working in one shot and you should not be you know search around like to find the missing link like how to restart how to create this debugger uh, because this debugger whatever I have created just now right so this de debugger isn't one time a job any application I am you know creating I can you know debug it uh, easily because the, it's the same port I am just listening to okay the put uh, and forwarding the same port of course it's 9 to 29 then i can use the same uh, debugger file uh, to you know client connect to it remotely and then start debugging i hope this uh, video uh, looks uh, informative to you and uh, you enjoyed this video that's my hope you just share your feedback uh, uh, whether this uh, anything i have missed out unknowingly or you liked it or dislike it whatever you share with your friends if it you think that like it's uh, useful and uh, they can also get you know uh, get to know like how to do it in case uh, they are also beginner to this topic okay okay thank you stay safe bye